Yes, welcome everybody. Hashtag Fresh Thursday. I don't know why you missed some of the hashtag side. Then I was like, we keep it fresh in the club. Swag in the bird. Tell me where my ladies at. So that's a song we did with military swag. Nikianza mziki watu wangu. Like I'm taking it back. Your design, man. If you knew me before we zini dandia. When William stay wangu mtru mtu wangu. But anyway, welcome to the illest talk show in the 254. And today our girl is on some... Mm, pink colors, colors. Mm. Today I'm matching with the cap, in other words. Mm. But welcome to the show. It's your girl, Kush Tracy. So let's get it done. Yes. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon from whatever you're watching us across the globe. I hope this finds you well. And it's Thursday already. I can smell the weekend from here. Can you? Ah. And I'd like to hear where you watch. You are watching us from. Our number is triple one, triple four, triple one. And on Facebook, we are Switch TV Kenya. And on Instagram at Switch TV KE and Cool Kids Twitter. I cannot forget you guys at Switch TV Kenya. Welcome to the show. I am Nana Witi. Good evening, beautiful people. How are you guys doing on this Thursday? It started out really sunny, but now it's like kind of gloomy. But you know what? We, whatever weather it is out there, don't worry. We will always be here for you with all the hotter stories and great guests and games and you name it. We've got it. Let us know where you're watching us from. Our SMS lines are 341 we like to hear from you, so let us know where you're, you're watching us from. My name is Joyce Miner. Yay! Yes. Favorite day of the week. Yeah, okay, it's not Friday place, anymore. Yeah, like Nikaribu. Yeah, yeah, you know, just one more day. Yeah, I can smell. Like, yeah, sliding into Friday, then sliding into the weekend. So sliding. It's all good. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Hey, Nana. Hey, Nana. Hey, Nana. Me, by the way, Nim Tazoya. Yeah, I have no apologies. Like, forgive me, guys, but I gotta kill you. Slowly, mm. but with fashion, <laughs> not with a fashion weapon killer. or anything. Yeah. I'm a fashion killer. Yeah. killer, killer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so yes. we start up the show. Yeah, let's start the show. Of course, you, you know, we always start what's trending and what's not. It's time for Pop Spot. Yes, and the kitchen is busy. It's, mm, mm, I can smell some donuts <laughs> and some tea, Kush, right? Yes, so on Pop Spot today, as in, you know, talking about, you know, social media, and uh, I think you, you've been talking about a lot of social media, but talking about content creators, let's um, take the point here to Hapa Nobani. I don't know Nomba, Nomba, in how we call it Nomba, I think, yes. <laughs> but anyway, I say it, my car is not like 100, but hey, do we care? <laughs> I don't. But yes, <laughs> let's talk Natalie Tewa. So she did this, um, true or false true and true, true or, false. or false yeah thingy on instagram so guys were like you know throwing in some things i don't even think it's true or many false but someone was asking her in um concerning um her leaving youtube and not posting content anymore from like last year around june is it june or july and she was like you know what um she's not been posting because at this point let me just read what she wrote um Oh, she said, I love creating content, but lost my love for it because honestly, I'm not sure if it's worth the negativity that comes with it. Then something else she wrote, she was like, um, got so many of this. I think it, it was in regards to everyone was asking her whether she's going to get back into content creating and all that. And she was like, um, I miss creating uh, content too, but my piece is more important. Got tired of being wrongly judged. So, yes. So we, we don't know whether she's going to get back. Ama, she's just taking a break. But from what she writes, mm -hmm. it's more of like, you know, um, I think I've changed what. She's transition. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's just, yeah. Yanni too, I may change priorities, you know. Yeah. Like she, she wanted to do this thing. She loves doing it, but she feels like she doesn't do it. She doesn't want to do it because of what? That's the that's point I disagree because passion is supposed to be energy. Mm -hmm. And energy is what drives you. Energy is what... It's that drive. It's that drive to make sure you do what you love. I mean, sometimes you, you, it doesn't need motivation, you know. Mm. Like, it's something that I love. This is this is my space. Yeah. You own it, right? So why why not do what you love because someone else doesn't? Like, if someone else doesn't like my dress, will I say I'll not wear it because yeah. they don't like it? Mm. It don't make sense yeah, to me. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. I mean, but if, if she's allegedly dating who she, she's whoever been rumored she to yeah. be dating then she does not need youtube it's so probably about loving it <laughs> so when she goes broke she'll probably do like, <laughs> yeah. maybe but I'm like, yeah. i think for me it's more of like um e point i say i lost my love for like you get sometimes yes you're doing something you're passionate about it and all that but then you get to a certain point where 
you just no longer feel the same way i'm a you know you just no longer want to pursue it the same way i'm a you just change priorities and you you just start doing something else again you lose interest yeah. and you gain interest when it comes to something else yeah. and that's very much okay so i'm like you know what you do you yeah but if that's your like that was her only source of income you know what i mean yeah we lose, we lose love for our jobs all, all the time all the time but we're not going to stop working we need the money yeah. you know what i mean yeah. so you know with zero zero d we can on the I'll, situation you know, like it <laughs> Uh, no, allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. As we that. allege stuff, <laughs> can I take you all the way to one of my favorite places? You already know. America. Now, yesterday, a very beautiful thing happened. It was the inauguration of the 46th president of the United States, uh, Joe, Joe Biden. I, I want to call him by his real name. He's Joseph Robinette. Did you know? Biden. Now, this man served as the 47th Vice President of the United States, and now the mantle is on him. Like, now he's the president. That was the inauguration, and then there was very nice... Very, yani was say, can I already talk about the love between the the, I mean, the <laughs> president and the He's first like, lady. Yeah. I mean, they're just hugging each other over the balcony with masks. They didn't forget that there's COVID-19, but that did not stop them. Yeah. Also, George W. Bush was there. Barack Obama was there. And they took very subtle shots at the or the the previous former. president, yeah. the former <laughs> president. Of course, very subtle. Very subtle. So it was such a beautiful thing. And KT just had to close the show with all the fireworks. Yeah. And they they soaked in all those fireworks just watching and knowing that they have a very great task ahead to mistake, to remove the mistakes and actually right the wrongs of the former president. Yeah, you know, I actually read somewhere that um, Trump is the first president in 152 years wow. to miss the inauguration of his successor. He missed it. Yeah, wow. he missed he, it. He but was like deuces. Yeah, but I'm like... <laughs> As in that game was like bitter. Like, I honestly, know, yeah. Like he thought he's gonna win and like run for another term. Then yeah. unfortunately, as in, I don't know, as in, I've never been to America, but I was soon, like, soon. I, I didn't want Trump to just yeah, be the president. True, I don't yeah. know why. But I was guys. like, I just had enough of that guy. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know, Everyone guy. had. Like in Mlyona, you mean going know. round Which of one? the president. Like when the letter, there, yeah, there's a letter you know, that you have to hand write yeah. and leaving for the next president. Yeah. And it was like, Joe, Joe you, you know I won. Oh, seriously. Yeah, there's a meme I mean, going around. Yeah, no, it's it's not not a meme. no, it doesn't oh, no. He said it, he doesn't want to yeah. expose what exactly he wrote, yeah. but yeah. he said it's a very generous letter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's hope so. I just, yeah. I just can't wait to see how America will be doing. Like I said before, it's not very hard for Joe to do a very good job because, I mean, you just do one thing right and you're doing well, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.